Joining us on the phone, ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only Miss Aisha Tyler. Aisha, good morning. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? I am fantastic. You know, you sound a lot like uh, a character from the TV show Archer. Well, it's interesting that you would say that because I do play a character on the TV show Archer. Very <laughs> and I obviously don't don't change my voice for that role, so I sound just like Lana Kane. <laughs> I love it. Let's talk a little bit uh, about Archer. How, I mean, this is pretty crazy that uh, there. this is the 94th episode of Archer. To me, a lot of those shows kind of come and go. You know, you get on, you think it's good writing, it's fun, great cast. You join the project and kind of, did you know that this show was going to, you know, be the hit that it is now? Absolutely not. No, I didn't. And, and it's funny because, uh, you know, I, I think I have impeccable taste. And I knew it was a brilliant show, but I remember vividly um, because I was a huge C-Lab 2021 fan. And uh, Adam uh, Reed and Matt Thompson, who created Archer, had created C-Lab 2021. So I get this pilot strip and I think, oh, man, this is great. I'm going to get to meet the C-Lab guys. I love C-Lab. I'm, this show's never making it on the air, this Archer thing. But I'll get to meet the C-Lab guys if I do this pilot. Um, because the this, this script was just so dirty and so funny and so smart and so literate. I thought there's just no way a show like this is ever going to make it on TV. Um, and, uh, and I remember the day it got picked up and I got a call on the phone and I felt like, oh, God, this crazy little thing. Uh, this is a miracle. And the fact that it's gone nine seasons is just extraordinary. I, it's such a special show. And it's hard to say that about, like, a TV show that there's nothing like it. But there's really nothing like it on television. Oh. And I, it's, it's pretty cool. Absolutely. I mean, totally, totally unique. That's a, We've got people, you know, quoting lines on our app here. Uh, we said, amazing. And uh, is Archer still in a coma this season? Somebody would like to know. Okay, so, uh, you know, it's interesting. For the person who called about the, or who's writing it about the coma question, it's hard for me to answer that question because it's like a part of the mystery of the seasons that are happening right now about whether Archer's in a coma and these storylines are taking place in his head or whether we're just in alternate realities. Um, so I guess I want to say I don't want to tell you because I want you to figure it out for yourself as you go along. We have a season 10 already ordered. We are making another season of Archer at the very least and maybe more. Uh, and I feel like there are things that are going to be revealed between now and the end of season 10, but I'm just going to ruin if I answer that question. <sighs> So I, like uh, I feel like you should just enjoy season nine. It's on an island. It's on a dangerous island. It's called Archer Danger Island. And you should just enjoy the danger. Let the danger wash over you exactly. without asking too many questions. I like that. That should be the uh, the subheading under the, you know, Danger Island is let the danger wash over you. <laughs> it shouldn't be. I'll pitch that to the yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, also, of course, uh, regular on Criminal Minds. You're still rocking that, right? Yes. And we just finished season 13 of Criminal Minds, and I, I just love that show so much. I mean, I, I joined, A.J. Cook, was, uh, who plays J.J., was oh, just going to be away for six episodes having uh, her second baby. And they just had me in just to like, be like a fill-in for while she was gone, and I've been there for three years. I mean, that's just, that's like just a legit love affair. Like, I fell in love with the show, they fell in love with me, and um, it's been extraordinary. And I think season 13 has been one of the best seasons we've ever had on the show, the, the cast is you're a sick killer. Yeah. We just added, added Daniel Henney from Beyond Borders, and he's amazing. And it's just, it's been, you can really see, because the cast gets along so well, that chemistry, I think, really plays uh, in the show as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it absolutely does. We just had Joe Mantegna on a few weeks ago, and, uh, you know. He, I love Joe. Yeah. I love him so much. He's the best. He's that a, guy is like, people forget, he's like a Tony winner, and he's, yeah. you know, godfather. Like, he's done everything. He's amazing. He's Uncle, he's Uncle Joe. He's Papa, Uncle or Papa Joe on the set. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's nice to hear that everybody's cool, that it's not like you guys get together to make money and just hate each other in real life. No, it's it's so great. All the male fans of Crone Minds will be happy to find out that the female cast members get together every four or five weeks to sit in Kirsten's hot tub and drink like too much wine and get super sloshy. <laughs> um, so <laughs> you heard it here, fellas. <laughs> yeah, you heard. Let's put that in your pocket and smoke it later. Uh. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a really great, great place to go to work. I love it. Somebody asked uh, Aisha, it's time to bring back Whose Line Is It Anyway with you. Is, is, is so that something Whose Line you is coming say? back June 4th. Uh, season 6 of Whose Line will be back on uh, the CW on June 4th. Look at that. So well, you, you get your wish. Have you done, I feel like, I mean, obviously we've got, you know, Archer's been going on quite a while, Criminal Minds going on quite a while. But in the midst of that, too, I feel like you do like three or four other big projects every year. Like you're very busy bouncing around between the, you know, you got your your stable trunk of shows and then you branch out into all these other projects. What, what else has been going on in life? 
So um, you, you mentioned the three shows I do regularly now. You know, I, I left the talk last year to pursue a of, of career uh, in filmmaking. I made my first film. It's out now. It just came out. It's called Axis, A-X-I-S. It's out on, you know, Amazon, iTunes, Hulu, Fandango, Vudu. It's on your on demand on your television. Uh, it's a thriller, a very unique thriller um, about uh, an Irish uh, expatriate drug addict living in L.A. who's trying to turn his life around. That sounds like it would be dark, but it's actually very darkly funny. Uh, and it takes place in a car. It kind of starts out one way and ends up another. So it's my first film, and I wanted to make something really unusual, something, you know, that you wouldn't expect of an African-American woman to make, so it's a movie about an Irish expatriate drug addict driving through Los Angeles, trying to, uh, trying to save his life and the lives of the people he loves, um, and I'm getting ready to direct another feature this year, I'm getting ready to direct a horror movie at the end of, of this year, uh, and I have a line of cocktails coming out called Courage and Stone that's launching this summer, ready to drink cocktails, so I am what they call in the business a crazy workaholic. I, uh, I love to be busy, um, and uh, either you know, either I'm running around like a mad woman, or I've collapsed in a heap in the corner. But I love um, I love staying busy. So you're right. I'm, I always have something going on. I love it. Would you shift? I mean, obviously, with the, with the directing, and you're enjoying it, and Axis being out now, have you? Are you thinking of maybe shifting more of the career to directing, or are you always going to make sure you're doing a little bit of everything? You know, whose career I really admire. Um, well, there are two in terms of like actor directors. One is. Uh, ben Affleck, who I think, you know, kind of everybody wrote off a few years ago as being this actor who kind of like passed his prime, and then he's just exploded into this, you know, like Oscar-winning film director, and he still acts. So, like, to me, that's a really interesting way to work, is like sometimes you act and sometimes you don't. And the other person that I think is doing the same thing is Clint Eastwood. You know, sometimes he's directing, sometimes he's acting. Um, so, yeah, eventually I'd love to be able to just be focused on filmmaking and, you know, and then occasionally drop into a movie. Um, and there, you know, there's so few women directing and there's so few women of color directing. So for me, like I'm, just, you know, I could complain about it or I could just put some skin in the game. And, and I love film directing. You know, this is my first movie, which I made in seven days, um, for $200,000, which is a, typically the catering budget on a regular Hollywood movie, uh, you know, ended up going to 10 festivals and winning a bunch of awards. And so it was a great, it was an auspicious start. So I'll definitely be making more movies. That's definitely what I want to move into as I, as I move forward. There you go. I, should... I like yelling at people. I like yelling at people. Exactly. I pay, I never really noticed all the similarities between Aisha Tyler and Clint Eastwood until now. Oh, absolutely! I am the black female cleaner. I, I, I can see you. That. I can see you yelling at an empty chair. You know, at a political rally someday. <laughs> oh God! If it, if it comes to that, please put me out of my misery. I will say <laughs> that I met Clint at the Golden Globes one year, and you know, he's just every actor I know that's ever worked with him is just so dazzled by him. And um, I don't know if you know Michael Kelly from um, House of Cards worked with him, and, and uh, Michael Kelly's an amazing actor, and he was just like, you come in and you better be on your A-game, you know, like, Clint's that guy who he did your job, so he knows how it works, so you can't trick him. He's one of those directors, you can't, like, sneak around, you know. Um, but I went, met him, and he had that boy, I had broken my arm, and he goes, hey, how'd you get that bum wing? And I just, like, fainted. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, that was the end of the conversation. He's so Clint Eastwood. I love He's it. So cool, you know. Yeah, so you, cool. You guys make sure to check out Aisha Tyler on Criminal Minds. Look for her film Axis A X I S anywhere you can look for uh, films and watch them. Look for that. Check that out. And then of course Archer Danger Island kicks off tonight. It's Wednesdays on FXX. Watch the season nine premiere tonight. Support our girl Aisha and Aisha. Hopefully we'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks so much for taking time for us. Thank you. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye bye.